Eu mando o Google Coin e eu vi a peça. Não, não, não. 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 Não, não, Hello lovely people, welcome back to the channel. This is your favorite doctor, Dr. Bisa. And on this channel, we talk about your total well-being. We talk about things that will help your health. We talk about parenting. We talk about lifestyle. Just your total well-being, whatever that would make you to enjoy your life here on earth. We talk about it. And from time to time, we also talk about issues happening around us. So if this is your first time of seeing this lovely face, please do well to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Then if you are a returning subscriber, thanks so much for staying with me. I love you and I value you. So my lovely treasures, welcome back to the channel. Actually, today's video is a rant. Um, not happy i know i promised us to upload a video on health to um, this week but i just feel this one is so important it is important so what am i saying it was yesterday there was another will i say protest peaceful of course at lake to gate and this just about reopening of the tour gate or not reopening and Nigerians decided to say no. This tour gate should not be reopened till justice is served. It's barely 100 and I think about 16 days after the key massacre. <laughs> and these people are doing this thing again. Why should they arrest those that went to protest? Why? What the Nigerians do wrong, and imagine how they do it means they don't even have respect for anybody. They arrested them. I don't know if you've seen the clip, Mr. Macaroni, and other people, other young people that went to protest. There was this lady crying that no, this tour gate won't be opened because my friend died here. Justice needs to be served, what happened needs to be discovered, and these people don't care about human lives. What they did was to arrest them, dehumanize them, if you need to say how they packed them in one car, because I don't know what means of transportation that was. Even though in the first place, the black Maria they brought was being pushed. Oh God, I weep for my country, you know. When the key massacre happened, I woke up that morning crying. And now this is happening again, and I'm like, God, where did we go wrong in Nigeria? Where did we go wrong in Nigeria? Why is it that we don't get to hear that this type of thing is, happens to all these people that are, that are carrying a bill, are causing these soldiers in this country? We've never woken up to hear that bandits were harassed. We've never woken up to hear that. Um, Boko Haram, something was done about them. We've never woken up to hear that the headsmen were harassed. No, but we wake up to hear that when Nigerians peacefully want to protest, they are harassed. Why? So I just ask God to help us. But well, I feel that it's time we keep putting our own suggestions, trying to make sure that these things don't just die down. Personally, I believe that the those that died in Lake Kipitong Gate, whether Nigeria wants to think about their justice now or later, justice will still be served, whether by mere human beings or by divine. But what I know is that justice will still be served. 
and this is me just saying that there be justice even for what happened yesterday arresting peaceful protesters again handling them how they were handled just need to see how as big as mr macaroni was you need to see how they they folded him into that vehicle and all that it's really sad and i just ask that god helps us and that even the international community really comes into what's happening in nigeria enough of the silence we need justice especially for lake massacre Make it okay, massacre. We need justice for what happened yesterday. We need justice. I don't know what you have to say. This is actually a rant. I think I'm true with my ranting, but just comment below. What do you think? Which way do you think we should go in this Nigeria? Which way, in Nigeria? What should we do? I would like us to engage with me in the comment section. Please, if this is your first time of stopping by, don't mind the mood and everything. It's just how I woke up this morning and I just felt like this shouldn't be happening again. And I felt I should give a voice to it. God bless you for listening to me. And do not to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Till I see you next time, I am Dr. Bissa, your favorite doctor.